welcome back to another vlog starting off today monday night actually as you can see it's like super dark behind me i wasn't gonna vlog today but then i was like hmm i actually did a lot of shit today and i didn't vlog it's a shame of me so let me pick up my camera right now so if you can see behind me all in the back it's some hot mess in here still we are still unpacking still getting everything together we gotta buy a lot of stuff we still yeah need to buy things in order for us to store things away so it's a little bit messy in here but bear with us it's only been like what three days so give me some time you know gotta get the house together but just went to whole foods and picked up some things to make some tacos and guess how much everything came up to just guess all i wanted to do was make some tacos and it came up to 45 dollars like what whole foods are you kidding me i was very disappointed in that i was just like uh uh la you're taking all my coin anyways um let's show you guys what wine i'm having since i'm about to start cooking I picked this one up from CVS and I really felt for like a Ziffindale so I got the Sonoma Ziffindale 2018 it looks really really good I love me a Ziffindale I feel like they're always usually very strong so yeah I didn't mean, lie this one is 14.8 percent okay that is very very high in alcohol content I want to see if it was going to share with notes, but I'm not seeing it here. So anyways, this is a bottle. It's actually very good. I would definitely buy this again. So I'm just having a little glass of this. Ah, delicious. So good. And then I'm going to show you guys what I got picked up from Whole Foods. Not much. Literally just wanted to make some tacos. So, got some romaine. I got these organic flour tortillas um, from Mi Rancho. Hopefully they're good. They look a little bit different than the ones that I usually have, but I'm guessing because they're organic. So, hopefully I like them. Just got some three cheese Mexican cheese. Three cheese Mexican cheese. I got two packs of this mild taco seasoning from Siete, Siete. Ooh, paleo and preservative free. We like that, we love that. I got a cluster of cilantro. I got two ground turkeys. I'm probably just gonna make one now because I literally have no Tupperware. I didn't even realize that. So it's gonna be hard to store this food for leftovers. I got four tomatoes. I thought he was going to get the smaller tomatoes because Brian got this and they were the big ones so I didn't really need that many but I can use it for other things. I got one onion. I got three limes and then I also got the mango pineapple salsa and the sour cream which are in the fridge right now. So I'm not going to show you guys that. Just let you guys know. So yeah. Whole Foods is like right there so just like if I ever need something, I can go there and get it. And they have like the fresh um, salmon. They have all the fresh, you know, whatever you need is there. But like when we are actually going grocery shopping bulk, we're definitely going to go to like Costco or go to Ralph's since it's so much cheaper. Like $45 for this? Y'all, are you kidding me? Mmm anyways let's get to cooking oh yeah and i'm currently watching big brother i'm trying to catch up because i'm very behind <laughs>
hey guys what is up so today's a new day it's actually thursday i think i only vlogged one time this week but that's because during the week i haven't really done much except for work on content that i have for brands so today is going to be a day because i have a lot of packages like let me show you guys so i got all of these packages in today and i don't even know what they are i only know what this is this is an ikea package and i just got a task rabbit so they're actually coming over today at 7 p.m to put this together um i plan to put this in my closet hopefully it fits brian did the measurements he said it it's gonna fit so that's what i'm hoping for i have no idea what this is this just came um, we got a bookshelf for our room, which is super exciting. It's like one of those floating bookshelves, which I'll show you guys a little bit later. And I got one more thing, which I already took out of the package. And it's for our bathroom. We're going to put it up on the wall so we can store like skincare items and things we just don't want on the counters. Sorry for the lighting changing. Um, but this is what it is. Honestly, online it looks so much whiter. Let me turn off my CV. Online it looked white. I'm gonna post a picture and you guys can see. It said like white wood or something like that. This is a lot more brown, but I'm just not gonna bother putting it back or bringing it back because I just don't have time for that. So, Task Rabbit is gonna mount this to the wall. It only came with a few pieces, but there we go. The thing is, it kind of matches the tile in the bathroom, which I'll show you guys. So this is the tile in our bathroom, so it kind of matches. This is just a little bit more gray, but I mean, from far away, you can't really tell. And me and Jasmine actually went to the flower shop downtown, in downtown LA, and we both got eucalyptus. And oh my gosh, such a game changer when it comes to taking showers. It smells so good and absolutely love it. So this is where we plan to put the little skincare cabinet right above here. And yeah, we have a lot of wall space, so I'm like, why not? But for now, I'm going to handle this room because I got a lot of stuff to put up before the guy gets here. I still have all of these boxes. These have mirrors in it, which we also have to work with. But for now, we're going to tackle this room this closet this is my closet i have to hang up all of this stuff right here um this is what it's looking like so i plan to put the two shelves right here in the meantime we're gonna hang this stuff up Okay guys, so this is how my closet is looking now. I cleaned everything off the floor, which is great. So this should be enough space for the guy to come set everything up. Nothing is organized though. I think I'm gonna do like joggers and t-shirts or joggers and hoodies in my drawer over there because I kind of don't want them to be hanging up because it just takes up so much space and I just don't like the way that it looks. <clears throat> my garbage can. I ordered this off of Wayfair again. I know Wayfair is like very sketchy but like they honestly have affordable things and I'm not trying to pay an arm and a leg for my stuff. So this is actually a huge garbage can. Oh my gosh. Wow. no 
idea it was going to be this big. But it's really pretty and it was really expensive for a garbage can so it better be amazing quality. So this is what the garbage can looks like. It's actually really, really pretty. I got it in white because I think I want to um, brighten up the kitchen area since everything I have is dark gray and I just want to do pops of white everywhere. I will leave a link down below. And you literally just step on the paddle right here and then it has this soft closure, which I definitely appreciate because I think the other one we had just like slammed down after and I didn't really like that. Woo! And then it already came with some garbage bags. So these are eight gallon bags, 30 liter bags. So this garbage can fits perfectly in this space right here. It's very, very sleek looking and it's not sore to the eye. And then there's enough space for the sockets here. So I love that. And if I don't want to keep it right here, because there's not that much walkway, we have this little nook right here. Once I get to clear this up right here, I can also put it here. So I'm not sure exactly what we want to do with this space right here but i have two options for now i'm gonna leave it right here and this is how it looks inside so as you can see it's not a lot of space compared to like a traditional garbage can but this will make us throw out the garbage a lot faster so it doesn't stink show you okay guys so the task rabbit guy came and he put together the ikea unit and look how much more storage i have um i will link the units that i got below i couldn't get the bigger ones because it would be like all the way out here so i got these ones for shoes and bags i'm so excited it's so tall everything is literally gonna fit in here at least it should so super exciting i'll probably like organize this tomorrow oh yeah and i forgot to show you we also hung up this little bathroom cabinet so i'm gonna put like all our skincare and everything i wish it did have one more shelf and i could like you know do that or something and then have another shelf i'm gonna see if i can get one for like maybe home depot carve it in the same way and just stick it in there but yeah we have a little space for that so we can get everything off of here and put it in here so super cute what's up what's up what's up it is another day and i'm about to work on my room because my room is a hot mess there's still so many boxes and i quickly want to show you guys this bookshelf that we got it's like a floating bookshelf i got it from overstock i really wanted the white but all they had available was the black and i really wanted to put the books up because it was just annoying seeing them in the boxes so let me show you guys that real quickly. We put the bookshelf in our room actually in this little nook and I think it's kind of cute. So this is where we decided to put the bookshelf. There's just a lot of space here. So yeah, I really do like this. So, you know, we want to read before we go to bed. We got this right here. So we have like all of our little history books, um, some more history books, but more to do so with the Bible. Um, I got a few other fiction books here we got our bibles right here more bibles dictionary <laughs> and more bible stuff so um this is a little cute floating shelf i absolutely love it there's so much room to grow and it's actually very very sturdy so you can definitely fit a lot of books on this super cute and now I'm about to go work on my room. If you're wondering why my hair is like this, it's because I'm trying to get the little waves. Probably had it like this for like a week now, honestly. Um, I just keep like taking it down um, and then redoing them. But uh, yeah, on to my room. So this is what my room is looking like. As you can see, there's probably no change <laughs> at all. So I'm about to start opening these boxes and organizing this closet right here i gotta put like all my shoes up all my bags up it's just very very unorganized right now and it looks crazy like even this section it looks crazy because everything is all over the place so that's what i'm going to i'm gonna accomplish this today i'm gonna finish this task 
I am going to start with this box here because I see a lot of shoes in it. I'm just going to like place them on the shelving in there and then figure out the rest later how I really kind of want to organize it. I just want to get everything kind of up there and then I'll like tweak it to make sure that I like how it looks. So let's do that. And I don't plan to keep any shoe boxes. If I ever want to store them again, I'll get the little like boxes from Amazon or container store or something like that. Everything must come out of boxes. <laughs> because I really noticed that when my shoes are in boxes, I never know what I have, which means I never wear them. And that's unfortunate because shoes are not cheap. So I want to make sure that I'm wearing my shoes. Okay guys, so in the move, my shoes got a little bit crushed, especially like my booty. So I decided that I'm just going to put some paper in it so it can kind of hold itself up. And I'm going to put these, I think, more so on the bottom two shelves. I'm going to put like all my boots on those shelves and go from there. Lately my thoughts got me distant Darker days filling up darker minds Stuck in this room that keeps spinning Wondering how you been, where you hide Late night drinking, wishful thinking What if you were here? Okay guys, so this is what my closet is looking like now. It is so much neater. Very, very neat compared to before. And I'm okay with it. It's not like, I'm not extremely happy with it, but it's definitely going to work for now. I definitely want to get rid of sweaters. I have way too many sweaters and hoodies. Literally, my whole closet is that. I really wanted to put my sweaters in a drawer, but that's not going to happen. So this is what it's looking like. We got cardigans uh jumpsuits dresses and then all of my hoodies 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 flannels and then i have blazers right here and then just stuffed in the back like two piece sets i only have two of them so I'll just stuff that in the back over there you can't see it right here are all of my shirts so i have long sleeve shirts and then i have body suits and then i have like tank tops which are like dressy kind of shirts so we got that right there and then below I have all of my pants and jeans definitely want to go through this again because I don't wear a lot of them so I'm gonna go through this another time not today and then at the side or the corner over here I put all of like my jean jackets and whatnot so tuck that over there up here I have my hats and then this is what this space is looking like right here and I really liked how it came out I can definitely get more shelving which I plan to do so I can add more shoes even though I don't have any more shoes but I mean 
if I ever get any more shoes, I need more shelves. So let me see if I can show you guys a better angle. So up top, I put like all of my bags that I don't know, I don't really wear. So below here, I put all of my booties. As you can see, I have so much space at the top. So I'm definitely going to add more shelving. And then I put my taller boots on that side. Here we have all of my black heels. Then on this side we have my nude and clear heels. And then up here I put my nude sneakers and white. And then I have more white sneakers and then my black pair. And then right here I put a few bags and then some shoes that could not fit on the shelves. Like I said, I need more shelving. And then I did the same thing right here. These are all my nude bags. And then up top I have my nude shoes. I got these sent to me. These are from Steve Madden. They're very different. Um, I barely wear these anymore. Like I'm probably even going to get rid of some of these shoes, honestly. And then I go, it goes a little bit more colorful. And then up here I just put like random heels, a random bag. Here I put sneakers, some heels, and some, some more sneakers that just, you know, try to group the green together. And then I have my backpack right there. And then, like I said, these are just, you know, regular regular bags I just stuffed at the top. And then below here, I think I'm going to put these up here. I might keep my sandals down there, still deciding, because I actually want to see the sandals. Since it is summertime, I'm going to need them. So... Yeah, and here I have like purses and beach bags, things like that. Here I have all of my sandals. And then up there I have, I think, like swimsuit stuff. Pretty sure. And then up here I have me and Brian's scrapbook, me and Brian's free box, and then some more photo albums. So this is my closet for now. And I like it. I do like it. Anyways, I'm tired and I'm very, very hungry. My room is still a mess. I'm going to try to clean up the floor as much as possible. And then I'm going to go get me a snack or some food. <laughs> good morning. We got the sun shining. I feel so good just sitting right here at my desk with the sun just beating on my skin. Put on my SPF. I'm actually about to go do the bike for a little bit. Haven't done it in a while, so I was like, yeah, I need to get back into the swing of things. So I'm about to go up there and do that real quick. And then I'm going to go to the nail salon or I'm going to go to the nail salon and then do the bike. I'm not exactly sure yet. I feel like I want to go to the nail salon first just to get out of the way. But I'm not sure yet. Um, I think I'm going to do the nail salon first. Get that shit out of the way. Come back upstairs. Do the bike. And then take my shower and start editing these videos that I need to edit because we are going to Houston tomorrow for Brian's birthday. His birthday is May 2nd. He's going to go see family friends. We're going to do this whole like dinner. I'm going out thing. So it should be a good time. Super excited. Okay 
guys, so I'm back from the gym and doing my nails. Took a shower, drank my little juicy juice, and Brian is gonna open up his first luxury designer purchase from Louis Vuitton. <laughs> He's so excited. <laughs> Went to the Louis V store. Where was it said? Beverly Center? Yeah. Yeah, Louis V store, the Beverly Center. I ain't seen this, honestly, since we was in the store, and that was like two weeks ago. And I haven't opened it. Yeah. Because we wanted to open it for the dog. Mm -hmm. You know? Got the nice little Louis. Louis box. You know, people go crazy for that Louis, man. <laughs> <laughs> people go crazy yeah. for that Louis. They would have been open the box. You know, I'm chilling. It's there. Sleeping. Slept good knowing it was there. So you got this as a little... Congratulations to yourself for moving to LA. You know, no, for your new job. New job and moving <laughs> to LA and you know, one of good things for yourself. I'm not really that brand conscious. No, you're not at all. But I, I appreciate nice things. It might sit in the closet for a while, but who? Look how this thing open. Is that a magnet? Yeah, they got a little magnet on there. Okay. Forgot what this looked like. Got this nice little cloth. Okay. <laughs> said cloth. The, the box is empty. I thought I was gonna have like a little pamphlet, some nice shit to read, you know. It might. It's not in there. Oh, like Pat. Did it yeah. come with like a card or something? Yeah, I'm thinking. But is this the Wookie Louis Vuitton? Nah, we went to the store and got this. <laughs> so the Wookie. Wookie is fake, by the way. That's what we say in Texas, or really in Dallas. Some fake, they'd be like, boy, I got the Wook, Wook version. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. I don't remember this. Picture. I don't even remember what it was called. <laughs> Do you? Mm -hmm. So what we noticed, how come guys don't have, like, the gold details? Like, they should have the gold. Yeah. Like, guys don't wear gold. <laughs> I guess the silver is more like plain. So, what is this? It's like a fanny pack? Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's like you carry it. Let me see how you do this. And this is perfect for him for traveling because he always wears like something like that. I like these. Look at that. Look. It matches your little sweater right now. Oh, shit. You know, I keep that thing on me. <laughs> no. Is it, can it go lower? Is it yeah. supposed to go lower? I can't make it lower. I just wanted to put it on fast. Oh. I'm make it a little lower. I should have been patient. You have to carry it in the dust bag. You know that, right? Yeah, what do you mean carry it in the dust bag? Like, if you're not wearing it you have to, and you're putting it in a bag or something, you have to put it in there so it doesn't get ruined. Oh, of course. Do you like it? Yeah. Like do you that. love it? Yeah. Good. Gold card. Pistol. <laughs> no. <laughs> Money. <laughs> All right. We just want to show you guys that real quick. You know, a little gift. Okay. A little pocket suit. Okay. <laughs> price. Oh, the price is out there? Price tag. Different. <laughs> All right. Tell everybody bye. Peace out, y'all.